Understanding, Getting Feedback, A Guide to Effective Communication. Hello everyone, in today's video, we'll be diving into the meaning and importance of getting feedback. Feedback is a crucial part of learning and improvement, whether in a work environment, during studies, or in personal development. Understanding how to give and receive feedback can greatly enhance your communication skills. So, let's get started and unravel the essence of getting feedback. Getting feedback refers to the process of receiving information, opinions, or reactions about something you have done or created from others. It is an integral part of learning and growth. Feedback can be positive, negative, or constructive. The main purpose of getting feedback is to gain insights and perspectives that can help improve your work or behavior. Feedback plays a pivotal role in personal and professional development. It helps individuals identify strengths and weaknesses. Understanding what you are good at and where you need improvement is essential for growth. Enhance performance. By acting on the feedback received, you can improve your skills and performance in various areas. Make informed decisions. Feedback provides you with different viewpoints, helping you make better decisions. Foster communication. It encourages open communication and dialogue between individuals, fostering a collaborative environment. Receiving feedback can sometimes be challenging. Here are some tips to do it effectively. 1. Listen actively. Pay full attention to the feedback without interrupting. It shows respect for the person giving feedback and helps you understand their perspective. 2. Keep an open mind. Be receptive to the feedback, even if it's critical. Avoid getting defensive. 3. Ask questions. If something is unclear, ask for specific examples or clarification to fully understand the feedback. 4. Reflect and act. Reflect on the feedback received and decide how you can use it to improve. While feedback is beneficial, there can be challenges. Fear of negative feedback. Some people may fear receiving criticism, which can hinder the process of getting honest feedback. Miscommunication. Feedback may sometimes be delivered or received in a manner that is not constructive, leading to misunderstandings. Cultural differences. Different cultures have different norms and practices regarding giving and receiving feedback, which can affect how feedback is perceived and acted upon. Getting feedback is a powerful tool for growth and learning. It's essential to approach it with an open mind and a positive attitude. Remember, feedback is not just about receiving criticism. It's about engaging in a constructive dialogue that fosters improvement and success. We hope this video helps you understand the importance of getting feedback and how you can use it to your advantage. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.